Thank you for joining me today. This is David Freytag, and we'll be talking about hierarchy diagrams in Cradle. A hierarchy diagram can be created fairly easily, either from an individual item that you have open, or if you have a query, you can choose a particular item. And then from the Home tab, click either the Hierarchy Diagram button, or you can right-click on the item, go to Links, and Hierarchy Diagram. This will dynamically create a diagram based on that item that you've selected. A hierarchy diagram is just one of many ways to show traceability in Cradle. It can be very effective when you're trying to look at the impact of making a change to that specific item, or you're interested in seeing how that uh, individual item has progressed. Uh, many of the other options are better to show overall traceability and matrices to, to show coverage across a broader number of items. Focusing on this individual item, we can see that we've got a number of functions. We have stakeholders, uh, system requirements, and other items that are connected to this. Using the star map, we can kind of scroll around, look at different information, see what's there and what might be affected if we change that original requirement. With these, it's not just a, a pretty picture, you can actually click on the item. So if this system requirement is one I'm concerned about uh, being affected by making a change to that top level requirement, I can double click on this, it'll open up. I can see who owns the item, look at the textual information, potentially see categories and other things that might be relevant to understanding the impact of making that change at the top level. When we look down this sidebar, there's a number of things that we can do to control the, the look, the feel, and the content of the hierarchy diagram. At the top here, we can see some general statistics. We've got 121 items, 120 cross-references. We're looking three layers deep. If we want to change some of the properties of the hierarchy diagram, click here. First thing, we have options. We can do things like change it from vertical to horizontal. If we wanted to, for instance, change the number of initial uh, layers in the expansion, we could change that here and apply those. Under the item attributes, uh, for each item that's going to be shown in a diagram, we can choose what is shown and how that's shown in here. So for requirements, we're showing the info type, which is in this case requirement. Have a, a space in there. We've got the name, another space, and then the identity. So looking here, we've got requirements. This one's named luggage, and it has an identity of 1.1.2.2a, and the a indicates a draft in this case. When we look at these diagrams, there's a lot of information that's available. It may be that we want to look at a subset of that data, be able to focus in a little bit more and understand uh, the individual impacts on item types versus everything. So we can look here, choose, say, requirements, uh, system requirements and verifications, those being the only three pieces of information we want displayed, and then click Refresh. And this will redraw the diagram, still based around that original requirement, but this time only showing the system requirements and the verifications that are linked. We can also look at this for link type, bidirectional, so if we just wanted to look downward in the, uh, in the tree from this top level item, we could click that and refresh again, and it will remove anything that was upward in that tree, and we're just looking downward in this case. When you understand uh, some of the basic constructs on this, you can also start looking and saying, you know, there, there's still a lot of information here. There's a lot of different system requirements that are, are viewed. If we wanted to, we could collapse this entire diagram and then expand it out one level at a time. So now that I've looked, I can pick on this particular system requirement, expand from there, see what's connected, and continue that analysis. Thank you for watching this video. We hope it has been helpful. For more information, please visit our website or contact us using the details on the screen.